Okay, um, I'm going to show you what you're going to be doing for your photosynthesis lab. Uh, again, you, we might be, have time to try this in class on uh, during next class just to test it out, but then you're going to be designing an experiment uh, to investigate the effects of some sort of abiotic factor on photosynthesis. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, uh, the leaf disc rising method. So what you're going to need for that is you're going to need some uh, sodium bicarbonate, which is going to be the carbon source. We need a little bit of detergent, which will help uh, help evacuate them, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, and then of course you need leaves. Now, I've gone ahead and punched out a number of, of discs already, just using a, uh, using a hole puncher. Okay, so you wanna, you wanna punch about uh, 10 or 12 discs uh, using the hole puncher. So I'll just punch a couple more here. You wanna try to avoid getting the, um, the large veins uh, involved in the in the leaf, okay? So you just kind of work around and another another one there. Bang it off. Try and get that thing there. Okay, so I've got about 10 here, okay? You want to, want to work with about uh, 10 or 12, 10 or 12 discs, okay? Now, the tricky part is going to be evacuating uh, the air out of the leaf because what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and take all the air out of the out of the uh, leaf tissue so that the, the leaves actually sink in solution. And then what we're going to do is shine a light on them and hopefully those leaf discs will rise um, because of the production of oxygen that gets trapped in the leaves and then they come on up. So what you need to do is you need to take a syringe, 10 mil syringe, and uh, take out the plunger. Now I've already created this, this solution, but this solution is about 500 mils of water with about a, I don't know, about a gram of sodium bicarbonate and uh, a number of drops of detergent. The detergent is basically gonna help when you, when you evacuate the air out of the leaves, the, the detergent helps to get those bubbles off the leaf so that they sink a little bit better. So the first thing you need to do is you need to put your, your leaf discs into into the syringe okay so you want to try get those down in there okay drop the one there carefully try and pick those up and pop them in okay so I've got about 10 of them in there now if the getting the air out of these things is is not the easiest thing in the world so you don't have to get the air out of all of them uh, but if you start with about 12 and get about nine or, or 10 of them uh, to sink, that's great. All right, so what you need to do now is you need to cover the end of the syringe so that your, your solution doesn't go out. And I would put in a maximum of about five mils because you need a, uh, a fair amount of air still in there. Just about five mils, I got about six in there, that's okay, okay. Then you wanna take the plunger and tease it in there, okay. That's gonna create a bit of a suction, so then you wanna lift up and let that out. Okay, so now you've got now you've got the solution of uh, discs in the leaf, and you can see they're all floating. Okay, so the way you get rid of this this air and to uh, to try and get them to sink is to push them close to the top. Okay, don't don't squish them against the top there. Put your finger firmly on the edge, and then pull the uh, the plunger all the way back. Now. Here's what you need to do as it's like this, a little hard on the thumb. You shake them around a little bit, okay? And then let go, okay? Now, that's not gonna do much the first time. So we're gonna do it again. Evacuate, shake it up a little bit, let go. Put it back up. And you're just gonna keep doing this, okay? Until you see that those things are going to start to sink. Now, they're starting to, there's a couple of them starting to drift down, so we're on the right track, okay? And you just keep doing it, okay? You can kind of scrub ahead in there in the video if you want, but yeah, those are, those are coming down, coming down nicely, okay? Just gonna give it maybe one more. You don't want to over evacuate because then the experiment's gonna to take too long. So it's a real fine line. So 
So again, I just wait and I'm getting most of those coming down. So I would say this is good to go. All right. Now, what I have done, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take now a smaller beaker, okay, put a little bit of, of the solution in there, okay. And, uh, see, these have all come down very nicely, okay. And you want to just pull this out and let your, let those things fall into, into the beaker, okay. Once they've all gone down to the bottom, or the, most of them have gone down to the bottom, again, you don't have to have them all down, but those things have sunk down nicely, okay. Then what you want to do is, is, is set up set up your lamp, okay, and turn it on, okay. Now you're going to want to measure the, you know, the distance, but I'm going to, okay. Uh, so what I've got now is I've got the I've got the light shining on the the leaf discs, and I've I've actually swirled it up a little bit so that you can uh, you want to do that every once in a while. You can see that that some of the leaf discs have already come up, whereas other ones are still on their way up. So there you go. That's kind of what you're looking for. Okay, these plants worked actually pretty well. Um, what you're ultimately going to be doing is measuring uh, how long it takes for five of the discs to rise. If you wait for all of them, what's going to happen, sometimes there's one straggler that, that takes forever and it just throws your data out of whack. So this, this one actually went pretty quickly, um, but uh, just measure the amount of time it takes for the first five to rise. And I hope that, uh, I hope that's clear for you.